Good morning, gamers. We got the patch notes from Blizzard for the very first time in Wizbang's workshop. Let's get right into this. It's actually gonna be really exciting to see what they do because some of these cards were really broken. Let's see what they got. We're hoping you're enjoying Wizbang workshop so far. We've seen you experimenting with a lot of new cards and archetypes across most classes and finding a few outliers. This patch is mostly to weaken those outliers to offer a couple higher confidence buffs based on early data. That's kind of exciting. So that means that maybe we'll uh, we'll get more buffs in the future. Tigress plushie is going from three mana to four mana. I actually still think this card is really good. I, 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 I think this card is one of the best cards Paladin has ever received in Hearthstone's history. Delaying this by one turn is a bigger deal just because obviously it does cost one mana and maybe the life difference lets you win a game earlier. But I don't feel like the mana was really the problem. I feel like Rush Lifesteal Divine Shield is just really good. But hopefully this is actually more impactful than I think it will be. Then we have the uh, Deputization Aura. It's going from three attack and lifesteal to one attack and lifesteal. I mean, this is a pretty good change. I feel like the real problem with this card was you get on board early and then your Paladin can just like get all their life back while maintaining a board as well. And then you're not even ahead anymore because they're at full health and you're just sitting there crying in a corner. The other real problem with this was with Shroomskivy, it would give maybe like Leroy Windfury and the plus three attack, it was really relevant. So I feel like this is a pretty good change. You could still stack auras. So worst case, this is plus two and lifesteal that last three turns. That's a pretty significant nerf. This card's probably still playable though. I feel like just the keyword lifesteal and a slight buff is probably okay enough for Paladin to still want to run. Like this card's getting ran, I think almost guaranteed. This one, I would think about it a little bit more. Depending on what deck we're playing, we may not need it. Shroomskivate's getting nerfed. Give a minion Wind Fury and Divine Shield and excavate a treasure to two mana. Looks strange, I don't know why. Give a minion Divine Shield and excavate a treasure. I mean, I think it's much better to remove Wind Fury and buff this card. Like, I think like this is a much safer design, but now it doesn't really feel like a Shaman card. Kind of just feels like Paladin was like, ah, you could have my hand-me-downs, bitch. <laughs> and then they gave it the thrall. I guess they probably prioritize just balancing it rather than like fixing the card because like maybe time strains or whatever, but I hope this card gets changed one more time to be a little bit more exciting. I'm a little surprised of like where they ended up on this, but obviously it's much better for gameplay because losing to like Leroy Wind Fury out of nowhere was fucking bullshit. So really good change. It really lowers Paladin's lethality. You know, if they were going to make this change, I don't know if this one's ne nearly as needed. Like this was really a good card, but I, I feel like this is um, when I'm playing against Paladin, like before this patch, I'm just constantly thinking about how I'm going to die from hand. I don't know if I was really, I, I'd be worried about these two. If this one, uh, this one as much of this one got nerfed. I'm also really surprised they decided to nerf this, this, and obviously this one, but not the weapon. I think the weapon's like the biggest thing, but let's see what they said. Paladin's the biggest outlier since launch with lots of damage from hand and healing. We like the overall play pattern of the deck, but we're making these adjustments to tone down the two overperforming aspects. Okay, fair enough. We'll see what this has to look like. Um, Paladin should still be good, but obviously just not as broken anymore. Actually, I don't know. They're gonna have to go full hand buff, probably is the play. Awakened Tremors is getting nerfed from a 4-1 to a 3-1 Worm. I mean, this card was fucking in. This card's crazy, bro. This card was played in like every Hunter deck for the... This is release, I think, right? 3-1 to from a 4-1 is a pretty significant change. Those breakpoints do matter. Also, it makes the... What's that card name? Like the two mana dude that buffs all your minions if you play a minion that has a higher attack stat than it. So this is a pretty good nerf. Hunter is another class that has been overperforming in the early meta. The Waking Tremor is a card that has almost been played in almost 100 decks for some time now. See, I told you. In which can make for some really early snowballs. Shaving a little power from it should help keep the other decks from falling too far behind as early as one and two. Yeah, I feel like this is a good change. I mean, I'm a big fan of like having, you know, different matchups and different play patterns. And I feel like if one card is just basically played in every single deck for Hunter, regardless if you're going like aggro or control, 
it probably is too good so this is a this is a good this is a good change well i, I say that but like tracking is fine this this card's just really really good okay thrall's gift is going from discover lightning blue oh my god lightning bolt sorry hex and bloodlust to discover a temporary lightning storm hex or bloodlust so they're they're getting rid of bolt for storm i feel like that's probably just before nature shaman it is a little strange but i guess not having an aoe for thrall's gift felt a little weird let's see what they have to say about this nature shaman is primarily a sediment outlier i mean i don't know about that i mean i'm coping by saying that because i obviously don't know the data but like if you played against this deck dying on turn five regardless of how bad the deck actually is out of nowhere like they don't even play for the board it's disgusting with access to a lot of damage very very early in the game however it's also expected to get a better match spread after the other changes being made in this balance patch the changes remove some of the burst damage and redundancy in the deck we think lightning storm is another good and flavorful option for thrall's gift weakening this specific deck but offering options to other shaman decks that weren't there before this card is way better for highlander shaman now would it really be that good if they nerf paladin i guess they're nerfing warrior too right so let's see what warrior does aftershocks four mana five this card's fucked i don't know how this card was printed on four mana like actually i don't know how they printed this card at four mana five mana is a lot more reasonable it actually slows the deck down quite a bit because the play pattern is like accolade of pain to the aftershocks now it's a lot slower it's worse for shaman unfortunately shaman just gets railed bro my god uh it's still a good card it will be ran there's no way it's not going to be played i think at five mana like it, you're basically casting it for three mana. i think it's still very very good even if you have to cast this for five it's fine most of the time but it, it's a good change odin's getting nerfed from eight mana to nine mana hmm. i that's really interesting i would have made it like an eight mana one eight <laughs> but the one turn delay is ginormous let's see what the common is Warriors and other class is looking very strong in the early meta, which is likely to get even stronger after the other changes in this patch. Aftershocks combined with Accolade of Pain to let Warrior draw too quickly through its deck is too powerful for late game cards. We're making these changes to make the end game a little slower and less consistent. See, the thing is, Odin's really good, but the technical deck is also still very strong. So I I, I don't know. I, I feel like both of these changes were good for the for the right reasons. I'll be curious to see how much it actually impacts the warrior deck. I still feel like it's fucking nuts. I mean, one mana for this is actually a really big deal. Like people will understand how big of a deal this is, but like one turn later is ginormous. Uh, I actually kind of low-key hope they do this for wheel of death in the future. If it becomes too strong because War warlock's probably going to be nuts, but let's see the other changes first. Uh, Zilliax Deluxe, we're nerfing the cost one less in play for each minion. That's a huge change that lowers the overall burst potential and durability of like decks that go wide i actually you know what dude i think it's really cool they designed this card and they can nerf individual components like the the foresight of this card is incredible i don't think i need to read this i think I, my thing is 100 correct all right what are we buffing sky mother aviana is going from six to five i mean the card's still whatever i i mean five man is nice again it's one extra turn it's the reverse of the odin the problem is, is that the the card just dilutes your deck and often legendaries just feel so bad to play i wonder if the better change would have been like six mana taunt shuffle 10 random legendaries in your deck or six mana rush taunt something like that just so it doesn't feel as bad because a five mana five five is kind of whatever but it is a very fun card and it doesn't necessarily have to be very strong i think people are going to really like it like i'll probably play this card because it's, it's just so much more fun frost lich cross stitch is going from five mana deal four to a character if it dies, summon a 3-6 water elemental, it freezes to 4 mana, deal 3 damage. You know, I feel like they could have left this at 4, and I think it would have been all right. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Maybe at 4 is too good, because you're you're dealing 3. Would you play, like, um a water elemental that deals 3 damage on battle cry? I guess you kind of would. That doesn't seem that bad. And it's a spell. So it fits a little bit better in, like, the pure spell mage deck. Overall, I think this is a pretty good patch. Like, I'm pretty excited to see where the meta ends up. I've actually been liking this a lot. If you want my honest recommendations on what deck to play, Warlock's going to be broken. Pretty sure Demon Hunter is also going to be really, really strong. They didn't nerf Window Shopper, and they didn't nerf Wheel of Death or any of the Warlock cards. So, Wheel of Death might be the best deck in the game. We'll have to find out.